Welcome back everybody, Todd here. So today I'm gonna to take you on a tour of the camper. It's the project's finished and uh, we just got back from our first weekend camping and I thought I would uh, take you on a little tour and show you the final product. So come on with me. So my tow vehicle is my 2016 Willys Jeep. You know, unlimited and of course there's the trailer and I'll, I've got that hooked up to the power so that we can run the fan while it's while we're unpacking we've just pretty much unpacked it I asked Laura to make the bed so I could show you around quick and give you a final tour one of the big things for me is with a lot of my trailers with this Jeep because you get that spare tire on the back I wasn't able to open the tailgate on them all but you can see that I made sure that this has enough clearance barely but it does clear the gate and I can get this all the way opened up that's a big deal when you're trying to pack your your vehicle and the window has plenty of room to come up so I've got easy in access to everything in the Jeep I'm thinking about putting a cooler rack down here now that we've kind of gotten it out just to see how much space I actually had so there's the air conditioning unit box and what I did is I just really took some of these ratchet ropes and it ratchets up and it's got a you pop that over and it's got a little button you push it and it releases that's the front of the camper coming around the side. I've got this hooked up now with my adapter. So you can see you've got the 30 amp service, but it's set up just for a standard extension cord. So I can plug right in and I've got my plug in for home. And otherwise it's got the 30 amp for the campground, which is great. So then exterior on this side, cargo bay goes all the way through to the other side and goes way back up in there you can see in that bag is a spare tire I got a tarp I got a ladder ball set then we've got room for these two big totes and a couple of these baskets full of stuff so on both sides Get that in and, and it's nice to just slide those in because then you can pull them right back out right and then you know you're looking through we've got it set up with electrical in the back with lights on both sides just the night lights all I'm using now at night when you're looking to get something out of there it lights it up really nice got a cook stove back in there and a bunch of other stuff so lots of storage then for leveling it out just got the those just put them on each corner works like a charm they stack right up for carrying them and that stuff can go right under the storage so then here's the door side and again I'll show you a little bit better look at that I did one in the campgrounds. Let's first do the outside. So we've got this custom door that I had made for it. Got the screen door. Here we've got the windows that have half screen in it. Got our cargo doors and a cargo holder. So if we come down here. it up holds the cargo out ton of cargo space under there we've got tubs to slide stuff make it easy to slide stuff back in and out so the cargo bay goes all the way through continue to come around the back got our license plate 
another cargo bay on the back to get through to the other side sitting on the ground is the AC box put that box on during transit so you can see that it's foam all the way around it it's been covered on the outside same as the camper then you've got the doorstop bumper here goes all the way around so that if it is raining keep the rain from blowing in there makes a nice tight seal got a 30 amp ship to shore running all the way back plugging into the campsite here so it's bringing the 30 amp power in AC unit up front got the corners all leveled out with the leveling blocks inside a full-size bed it's a six inch memory foam we've got night lights on the bottom and phone chargers on the top inside those a little storage bins there's room for storage we've got the window shades so that like in this case where we've got another camper behind us bring that down they're black out so it really does black everything out got the microwave AC unit all the storage bins or cabinets down here clothing drawers the shoe cubbies I've got a pair of tennis shoes and two a pair of Crocs and a pair of flip-flops in there Laura's got shoes in hers So that's a quick tour. Let's take a walk inside. Inside, you've got the window shades that go up and down. The sides all the way up. Put them all the way up when you're in transit. You've got a uh, nightstand on each side. Top pops off, you got storage down in those. You've got a full size bed standard full-size uh, bed it's a six inch thick memory foam very very comfortable a shoe covey on each side I had three pairs of shoes in there I had my tennis shoes a pair of Crocs and some sandals and Laura had all hers down there then we've each got a drawer I was able to literally get all of my clothes for the weekend in there and uh, had plenty, plenty of room. Then we've got storage under each of these. As an example, we had the coffee pot and stuff like that in there. Just plug the coffee pot in right here. Here's a just a little plug-in light, and it's run off of. Uh, it'll sense when it's dark out and it'll come on by itself but you can shut it down with the lever so that it's completely turned off we've got a night light on each side for each of us here you've got the microwave air conditioning unit which also runs just the fan and we were most of the time we just ran the fan bringing some cool air in and by keeping a window cracked on each side we were plenty comfortable no problem it got down to like uh, in the 50s a couple of nights so but we were toasty warm if anything we were too warm so it's a matter of getting that dialed in and of course you got storage all the way across in each of these even even in the corner where I've got my electrical box we've got this plastic tote 
and put stuff like bug spray and flashlights and stuff like that. Still have this top available to us for storage. Went ahead and put the um, grasp on there so that that will stay nice and tight in transit. And just uh, really, we found it to have a ton of storage. That's the fan. It's just running on. Actually, it's running on high right now. Blowing pretty good, but it's pretty quiet. Got your countertop. Get it spinning around here. Windows turned out nice. Ceiling. Yeah, everything. Real functional, real comfortable. It was a good weekend.